Today on The Butterfly Farmer, I am holding one of the wonders of the natural world. This little insect accomplishes a feat so incredible that scientists, well, they don't even know it's even possible. Join me as we take a closer look at the migration of the monarch butterfly. So I am out in the middle of a crimson clover field. And this is literally one of my favorite places in the entire world. I love the flowers, I love the fragrance, um, and I also love all the bugs that are attracted to the clover. So a few minutes ago, I actually was able to catch one of the most remarkable creatures on the face of this planet. And it's not because it's big, it's not because it's super showy, but it's because of the remarkable journey that this little butterfly makes. So this guy may not look like much. It's actually pretty tattered, pretty worn, but that's because he's old. This butterfly has actually accomplished just a journey that is absolutely unparalleled in the natural world. It actually started its journey as a butterfly egg late last summer, but it's what comes after that that is truly remarkable. Last fall, it migrated from the Cana somewhere around the Canadian US border all the way down to the mountains of Southern Mexico. And that's a journey of somewhere around 2,500 miles. It overwintered in those mountains and then journeyed back north, almost another thousand miles to the Southern USA, which is where I found it today. So simply an incredible butterfly. Now, what makes this even more mind blowing is that these monarchs migrate to the same area in the same mountains, in the same part of Mexico, every year, every year. And that's simply incredible. There's no parent monarchs to guide them, like there are for bird migrations. No grandparents, no nothing. It's literally been four or five generations since any monarchs have made this journey. And yet these little flying machines find the same spot every year. I kind of want to put into perspective just how remarkable this journey is. If you took a comparison between me and this butterfly, which weighs somewhere about uh, 0.02 of an ounce, or about half a gram, and you kept that same weight ratio and multiplied the distance traveled by that same weight ratio between the butterfly and me, that would be the equivalent of me traveling 440 million miles, which is literally like going to the sun and back twice. And then, somehow, randomly landing in the hometown of my great, great, great grandparents, which in case you are wondering, is pretty much completely impossible. I don't think I can explain how remarkable this journey really is. It is literally a miracle that science cannot explain. And that wraps up this video on what is literally, in my opinion, the most remarkable journey that any animal will ever make. It has been a remarkable experience for me to actually hold one of these butterflies that has made this journey. And I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as I have. As always, I'm John the Butterfly Farmer saying thanks for watching and so long. I've got a bee. And that is how you catch a bee. I hope you got that on tape, Josh. That's talent, okay? All right. So, what makes, or you can cut it. <laughs> <laughs>